Hi friends, welcome to eConcepts. Today, I'm going to discuss the core differences and working principles of three notable types of wind turbines. Horizontal axis wind turbines, vertical axis wind turbines, and bladeless turbines. Wind turbines have revolutionized electricity generation by harnessing the power of wind, providing a renewable source of clean energy. As of 2021, the global installed capacity of wind energy has exceeded 743 gigawatts, a remarkable growth from around 17 gigawatts in 2000, which means it has multiplied more than 40 times in just over two decades. Now, let's discuss the horizontal axis wind turbine first. Horizontal axis wind turbines have a horizontal rotor shaft and blades resembling the traditional windmill design. Please see the image that how horizontal axis wind turbines have evolved over time. The question is how it works. When the wind blows, it rotates the blades around a horizontal axis. The rotational motion drives a generator to convert kinetic energy into electrical power efficiently. Next is the vertical axis wind turbine. These turbines have a vertical rotor shaft and blades, creating a distinct appearance. In the image, you can see different designs of vertical axis wind turbines. Regardless of wind direction, vertical axis wind turbines can capture wind from any angle. As the wind passes through, it causes the blades to rotate around a vertical axis, generating electricity through a connected generator. In the last comes the bladeless wind turbine. Bladeless turbines eliminate traditional rotating blades, adopting an innovative design. Let's first discuss how these turbines work. Bladeless turbines employ alternative mechanisms such as oscillation, resonance, or air compression to harness wind energy. These use aerodynamic principles to generate electricity, providing a unique and potentially quieter solution for wind power generation. In the image, you can see how the mass pole is oscillating, thus converting the mechanical motion into electricity with the help of an alternator. In the last, I would like you to review the differences among these three types of turbines in tabular form. This is self-explanatory. Please review it. And that was all from my side for today. I hope you have liked the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for your kind time.